This is a brief tutorial for how to set up an FTP account uh, in Reclaim Hosting so that you are able to upload and download files to and from the server. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and you use these applications to move files between servers. Um, so uh, to do this we are log into our Reclaim Hosting. I apologize for my coughing. That will undoubtedly happen through this, but um, I need to get this done tonight and I just cannot shake this cough whatsoever. Okay, so once you're logged in, go to your control panel. And then uh, in the control panel area, you're going to find a, under files, you're going to find a, a, heading, a, a, a link for FTP accounts. Click on that. And that will bring you to uh, this page. And here you are going to be creating the account that you will use in order to connect to your portion of the Reclaim hosting servers. Okay. You should see your domain right in here. Okay. Uh, so I've already created one called Bill Wolf. You should create one for something that is going to be meaningful for you. Um, I'm just going to create one right now as a sample. Say Bill Wolf 2. And the password. And the password again. Okay. And. Um, I want to have access to the main directory, like that. Um, and then I just click Create Account. Okay. So make sure you do delete everything that is here because you want to have access to the entire thing. Um, so click, click Create Account. And the account is created. And that's very exciting. And we'll see that right over here. Uh, and then you're going to click on uh, configure FTP client. Okay. Now, um, these are the key ID, uh, login information that you're going to need in order to uh, log into your FTP. Um, log into your account using FTP. And why don't we go ahead and do that uh, right now since this didn't take very long. We can do that very quickly. So under tools, if you've installed the um, the Fire FTP, and it will open up an account over here, uh, a tab over here, and then you click on. Uh, we can just do a create. We'll just do a quick connect here. Whoa. Okay. And you'll see that there are three uh, areas, three, you want your host, your login, and your password. Okay. We don't need connection, we don't need advanced, uh, we just need the main, the main ones. So I'll put this off the screen for a second. Uh, you're going to go back to your control panel where you will see the username, the server, which is the host, and the port, which is pretty much default. Um, and this is nice because it's right over here. So you're going to take the uh, host, which is the this little bit. You can just copy that, paste it in. And then your login would be your username. Mm -mm, there we go. Um, right here, and then you just type in your password and click on connect. Back to this tab, and now you will have access to the server. Um, the way this works is on the left hand side is your computer, your desktop that you're currently working on, or your laptop, and the right hand side is the server. Um, and we will go over how to use this more in class, but that's essentially how you connect to it. Um, you can create a, an account, so you just have to do it uh, one quick step. You create an account, 
and you will enter the information and then you'll see the the account appear in this pull down menu and it will automatically collect, connect you later on okay um, all right see you in class bye